Parsad is a sweet food that is first offered to a deity or avatar during Hindu religious ceremonies or during Diwali celebrations and then distributed at the end of these ceremonies in paper or plastic bags to devotees and other specially invited guests including neighbors and friends. After the puja or prayers is done, we all voraciously partake in the most delicious vegetarian feast. There are several versions of Parsad. There is the flower version seen here, then there is the cream of wheat version, and then there is the combination of flour and cream of wheat, my personal favorite. To make this at home, you will need cream of wheat or all-purpose flour or a combination of both, depending on which version you're making, evaporated milk, whole milk, grated ginger, brown cardamom, golden raisins, and granulated sugar. Not forgetting one of the most important ingredients, ghee, which is also called clarified butter. First, we will make the pag or the sugar syrup. In a small saucepan with a long handle, add the evaporated milk, the water, whole milk, sugar, and keep it under a very low flame until we're ready to use. First, stir it so that the sugar will dissolve. Then, in a large, wide, heavy butter pot or iron pot, over medium heat, add the ghee. When it melts, gradually sprinkle in or sift in flour and stir using a wooden spoon in a rapid back and forth motion, scraping the flour from the bottom of the pot so it doesn't burn. Cook, also called parch, stirring continuously, scraping the bottom of the pot until the flour is golden brown like the color of tea with milk. Or if you like it a little lighter, you can cook it on a very, very low flame for about 17 to 25 minutes depending on your stove. The goal here is to allow it to develop in color, to remove the rawness of the flour, and to make it light and airy. Then add raisins, grated ginger, and elaichi, and cook for three more minutes until the raisins are plump. Now it's time to add the sugar syrup. Raise the heat to high. Then start pouring the hot milk or the fag mixture gradually one cup or ladle at a time into the pot and carefully since the syrup will splatter. Feel free to ask someone for help. Turn vigorously and rapidly in a back and forth motion until the parsad is cooked and all the liquid is absorbed about five to seven minutes depending on your pot or the heat. It may look pasty for a little while. Don't lose courage or confidence. Success is just around the corner. Just keep those arms moving. And that's my delicious version of flour parasad. Now on to the cream of wheat parasad recipe. Start with the first three steps. Melt the ghee, sprinkle in the flour and parch until it's the desired color. After the flour is parched, five to seven minutes on a medium flame or 17 to 25 minutes on a very, very low flame, add the cream of wheat and cook for about three to five minutes. Then add the raisins, ginger, and ground cardamom. And cook until the raisins are plump, about three more minutes. And just like the first demonstration, start pouring the hot milk mixture gradually, one cup or a ladle at a time, into the pot, and carefully, since the syrup will splatter, feel free to ask someone for help, turn vigorously and rapidly in a back and forth motion until the cream of wheat is thoroughly cooked and all the liquid is absorbed about five to seven minutes. It may look pasty for a little while, but it will eventually achieve the right texture. Just keep those arms moving. Please, Siri, show me the stuff.
I hope you've enjoyed and found today's video useful. Please like, share, subscribe and leave a nice comment below. For the full printable recipes, please click on the link in the description box below. See you soon!